Okay, this is a Gorilla GG25 uh, practice amp. It's actually from the 80s. Um, a lot of guys who are playing very, very well now remember getting started on one of these. Um, they were particularly popular in the 80s. They were an affordable student amp, and they're actually quite durable. Um, this model features, obviously, we have a power switch, nothing exciting there. Uh, volume, which is actually the gain knob master volume which is the actual volume itself so you can where you put the master volume is going to be your actual output and here's your gain so you can crunch it up uh, and then there's treble middle and bass there's also a switch here that's labeled tube stack um, that's a drive switch that's like an overdrive switch uh, this is a solid state unit uh, rated by the manufacturer they say it's 25 watts um, maybe maybe not on the back Take a look at this puppy. We have the 8 inch speaker. It's an open back, so you can see that. Good shape. Very heavy duty power cord. Um, you know, pretty durable units. Uh, it has a 12 volt DC input, so I suppose you could run this off of a battery. Um, there's a line out for um, your PA system if you want to just use this to monitor yourself, and a headphone jack. So, um, you know, pretty versatile little practice amp, and it works well. Um, and now we'll plug it in and make some noise. Okay, leaving the channel clean. Um, the unit's actually quite clean, very noise free. <laughs> got the gain knob at about five, so it gives just a touch of breakup. So, obviously if we want to clean it up, we can always roll the gain knob back and bring the master volume up a little bit more. takes that little bit of grip right off of it. And if we flip the tube stack switch, that puts it into distortion. We'll put that back up to five, bring the master down a little bit. And actually, I like this one around seven or eight. And you can play some rock and roll. Anyway, good working order, a uh, decent sounding little amp, and a classic, classic if you want to call it that, uh, popular amp from the 80s, still in very good working order, recently refurbished. All the knobs are quiet, the treble middle bass work fine, again, no crackling when you turn them, and of course this is on a high gain setting right now, and the amp is still really quiet, I mean, you think it would really want to buzz, but it doesn't, it's real quiet. So. Good little practice amp, uh, great for students. Uh, hey, and it's a '80s Gorilla. It's a, it's vintage now. <laughs> Not quite as vintage as maybe a '60s Gibson or Fender, but hey, maybe it'll become a classic. Thanks for watching, and uh, obviously this is for sale. <laughs>